Alright y'all, so we back with another video, man. Same day. Y'all just seen us get a hop out the uh the Hellcast. So make sure y'all check that video up. The link gonna be right here. Just click that. Click that little link right there. But we about to hop in a scat, man. So honestly, uh, I've driven a scat, a 2015 scat, a uh, long time ago. Uh, just did it for a test drive because I was going, I was thinking about buying a scat at first. I drove it, loved it, but that was 2015, man. So a lot's changed. I won't say a lot, but obviously things get better over time. They improve on little things over time. This is a 2019, right? 2020. 2020, 2020 scat pack. So things change, man. They improve them slightly. Yeah, I know that the 2020 has got, he, uh, they don't come with a snorkel, but he did do the snorkel conversion. Um, things change up. So that's what we doing. We're going to take this out. I really want to do my main purpose of this video, right? I want to give y'all an honest opinion. If hopping into a scat pack is worth it instead of just going to a Hellcat, right? So obviously everybody knows scat packs, scat packs are like 39. I want to say Hellcats are 69. So you're looking at about a 30, 40 grand difference, right? Depending on depending on options, right? So mine's was 82 with options. I don't know how much this one was, but again, anywhere from 20, 30, 40K difference in price, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out for a quick drive, same route we did with the other one, with the Hellcat. And I'm gonna give you an honest opinion, man, if I really think that, because I know a lot of people be wondering if they regret um, getting a Hellcat when they got a scat pack, right? And honestly, I'm a Hellcat owner, so I'm going to give you a 100% honest review if I think that jumping into one of these is pretty much enough. You don't really need more than this. If you want a Hellcat, get a Hellcat. But if you're debating it, if you think you should need a Hellcat, that's what that's what the point of this video is. So we're going to do that. We're going to take a quick walk around just to see what he got because he's he has done a few um, exterior miles and stuff like that so we're gonna do a quick walk through that we're gonna find out what he got going on so for those that don't know again we just got done doing the hellcat video make sure y'all check that out this is charger 17 3.0 man make sure y'all look him up on youtube this is his beautiful scat right here lola right lola, lola okay i like the name like the lola but anyway let's start with the front man yeah. so this is a 2020 2020 model okay Slim body. slim body or narrow body yeah they be either way either way you want to put it either you want to want to put it wide body narrow body slim body yeah I think now you can only get it in white body now though right oh, okay. now you can only get them in white body so I noticed you told me this is a 20 right yep. You have the snorkels. Did you yeah. change it out yourself? Nope. 2021s, they are still coming with these hair. I think really? The 19s, they came with it, but they added to this to these uh, models. So they both got the circles on both sides. You know, according to myself, man, we still shout them out. Shane. Yeah, yeah. My boy Shane, man, a thumbs up guy. Make sure y'all go right. check him out. I'm going to put his Instagram up here, too. He definitely says these are functional type. More air can still flow in there. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's so, true. That's true. I And my thing is, my main thing is, right, I got a Hellcat. I do, I wish they would have put fog lights. Something. I do want the fog lights. Like, maybe right here, right? Maybe they should have put, like, a nice little LED light right here going across. I think that would have looked nice. Instead of a, instead of no fog. Because, I mean, you, you, you're, you're, it's, it has the same purpose, right? Yep. So, even if they cut, like, a little hole... And put an LED strip here. It still will have its purpose of airflow going in through there. That's why they took the fogs out. All right. So I see you did the tenant, the tenant uh, headlights too. Yeah. So what's going on with that? How what what tent is that? What percentage? The, these are the Lux uh, headlight tent film. These are the light because they got the meat. Uh, they got they medium. got like light, medium, dark. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm right okay. there in the middle. You're in the middle. Yeah, that look good. Turn you want to you want to uh, actually you know what? I think I got the key, right? Yeah, yeah, you still got my key. <laughs> I got your key, right? right? You go home with mine, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, turn the camera okay. I got his key. Let me see. So I want to see how the lights look, right? Through there. Oh, okay. So they still pop through there. Yep. Yeah, I'm about to say turn on the uh the little LED strip for me. I want to see how how much they glow. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can still see them. Obviously, at dark, it'll look. Oh, that look. That actually look really nice, bro. Yeah. From an angle. And I know at night, I know at dark, they look even better. From an angle, you almost can't see them. Yeah, but when you come down, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when you go down, you can see them. Yep. When you when you. Yeah, bro. Those are actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I, I wasn't a fan of the film, but that actually looks really oh. good with the lights on. That's pretty I nice. To, I had to film on my other charger too. Okay. Same thing, but at the time I wouldn't do 
I don't think I did a video for that. And you said these are the medium. Yep. These are the middle ones. Okay. Damn, bro. That actually looks really good when... I did it myself. Put them on. Wow. A lot of my videos just show the guys in the car scene, you know, because we, we could easily go to the shop, spend that big buck. Spend, yeah, spend the money, yeah. yeah. I would rather do it by myself anyway just to get a video out of yeah. it, you know? Factory wheels? Factory wheels. Okay. I like the factory wheels. Did you do... Did you option the red? I think no. the, the red comes standard, right? The red comes standard. Okay. It could come with uh, the gray or the black. I think that's another... That's something that's optional. That's optional, right? When I seen this on, the, on their lot... It was like pretty much looking at me like, yo, just buy me. Just buy me because like, <laughs> it had everything I already needed. The Akatari seats. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just see the, this here is red. The brakes um, are red, yeah. I like the no light. I like the color on the rims right here. You see is that like the gum metal? Yep. Gum metal color? Okay. Yeah, nah, it looks good, bro. I like what you did right here on the window with the little scap, oh, yeah. the, the 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 B pattern. That's hot. I like that. Yeah. It's like them little touches, man. Make yeah, the car look. Yeah, thing. make the car look good. And my favorite part, as we keep going around to the back, right? Yep. He also got the tenant films right here on the LEDs, which oh, I yeah. need to do as well. I'm, I'm lacking on that. What brand is those? Those are, I believe they're Lux. It's Lux Auto Auto Concepts or something yeah. like that. Yep, yep. I've seen those. Uh, I'm debating on getting the. Uh, I think it's I Oracle it. Oracle Lighting. Yeah, it's the one with that. that the strip. strip. Yep, the LED strip. I'm I thinking about getting those. That too, but I like, you know. You like those? I it's, like doing that's all just, the and that's just a, stuff here. And that's just a piece of film, right? That yep, goes that's over. That's another tent film going right okay. over the, the side markers there. All right. You know, the bumper, get to the back. The bumper is the same as the Hellcat. As the Hellcat, yep. Change. Matter of fact, there is a slight change if you look at it a little bit. This is like, like I said, slim, right? Yeah. We're gonna run over here to his. Just got a little bulge. No, right here, y'all. Right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yup, it is. It is. I didn't even notice that. It is a nice. So, what he's talking about is right here, right? Between the top of the bumper and the bottom half where the the air vent is, it yep. is. Uh, I didn't even notice that. It is slightly more, uh, has more of a curvature to it, right? So, like right there. Just like in the front for the, the the front bumper. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yep, that's true. I didn't notice until now when I, I didn't back that. over. That's what I'm saying. It has to be a little bit of a difference Some, somewhere. Different. Yeah. And then he's got that this really nice, beautiful carbon fiber yep. diffuser down here, which I really like, which is really this one nice. Here I got off. Uh, was that? I think I something with it. You did send me the link. I can't remember what it was. What was it? It was Amazon. Yep, okay. it was Amazon. Yep, it was an Amazon piece. It was like it was like one thirty or one forty or something like that. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me ask you something. So, so for anybody that's watching, where can they get your hats from? My hats are Charger Seventeen uh, logo. Was it a logo face? Yeah. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be in my description. Okay. You got a website, right? Yeah, there's a website. You can go in there, order them. Okay. Leave. You got shirts. Shirts, jackets. That's what's up. I need one. I'm gonna I'm I'm go get one just because you got merch up, man. I, I, I mess with that. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in the link for y'all, man. Like I said, man, I'm, I, I, this is what we do, man. I'm here to support. I don't got shirt on. I don't got shirt on. Yeah, I'm here, to, I'm here to support, man. So he got merch, man. I'm gonna plug y'all in with his, with his merch website and then y'all can get the hats and shirts. Now, this is one thing I do wanna put y'all on to because a lot of people ain't gonna tell y'all. Do y'all know? Do you know you can do Amazon affiliation? Ah. So you buy all your stuff from Amazon, right? Yep. When you do your videos and you tell people that where you got them from, yeah, you can put your links in there. And once you get affiliated with Amazon, you get paid for people clicking your links oh. to buy your stuff. So you it's might, free. Might um, you that. do have to qualify for as long as you got your uh, your EIN, your tax ID or whatever. Okay. You plug that into your affiliation, and if they approve it, all you do is the same links that you use to buy your stuff. You put Just in your videos, in and if they click them, you get paid. I don't know how much. I just started my affiliation. I don't know how much they pay you, but I know they do pay you for each buy or click or however. I think it's each buy. Okay. They buy the product. It's right? not bad. It's not bad. So that's called Amazon I'm affiliation. Sorry, here. Just, just look it up. A lot of and a lot of again, a lot of people won't tell y'all that. Um, just be, I don't know why, but Amazon affiliation is what Amazon it's called. Just go on Google, type in Amazon affiliation. You hear that, guys? All the links that you put in your videos from things that you buy, put them yep. in your video. People click them and buy them. You get paid extra. Ooh. So you get your video. So that was because you ever notice people who had those little, where you go yeah. to their videos and they got them little square links of yep. Amazon stuff. There is an Amazon affiliation. Mm. I just recently found out about it. Okay. So for all those and new channels, new right there. Yep. For us. So all those new channels. That's uh, you there you go. You can pop in Amazon affiliation too. It does not. It does not mess with your uh, Google ad revenue or anything like that. It's, it's separated. Totally separated. Totally separated. So. 
Go ahead. There you go, man. Because you, 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 right off the jump, you telling me all this Amazon stuff. I'm like, I wonder if he know about Amazon fish. And again, this is what this is about, man. Linking people in, letting yeah. them know about all this stuff going on. Because it's money to be made out here, bro. You just yeah. gotta know. Even the cameras came from Amazon. That's so what I'm like, saying. That's, crazy. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. You know how many? You, uh, just imagine how many more clicks you could have got off them them links if you knew that's about it. Wow. That's what I'm saying. So. Yeah. When you get home, start, check that out. Start for this one then. <laughs> yep, Amazon affiliation. Check it out, man. Make sure y'all check that out. Amazon affiliation. Yep. All right, man. Yeah, let's jump in. I want to see. Oh, you know, let's pop the hood, too. Oh, yeah, let's pop the hood. hood. Oh, yeah, see. Ooh. I, yo, the interior, bro. Yo, see, I didn't want black on black, but I'm not going to lie. Black yeah. on black is clean. Super clean. So you I like it. Yeah, that's real clean. The you bought the match from Amazon too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I play love Amazon. I feel you though. I rock with it. I'm making everything from Amazon. And y'all already know, man. I'm a Those big are fan. Custom because you can order them just like that. But see, I did the because you see it's orange. Uh huh. I went in. I brought a. A fabric marker that's permanent mm -hmm. and color those myself. And color them yourself. I think okay. I, did a, I put a video. I already got a video out for that one. Okay. I'm going to so check that one out too. So, y'all yeah, already know I'm a big fan at Car Seat. Y'all already know what time it is, man. That dad life. You, you, yeah, we in the cars, daddy, man. Exactly. We in the power, but we got kids, man. So, you got to have that car seat, man. Yeah. Most important part of the car. Car seat. Yep. Well, let's get to the let's get to the uh yeah let's, let's get to the hood real quick let's show them the big beefy motor world, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh you did the little touches too that's yeah. hot oh okay night, these here uh reflect they reflect okay that's hot bro i ain't yeah. gonna lie to you that's tough i like that only as soon as you open that's the first thing you see too so yeah, yeah that's nice Big time. amazon too amazon. hey yo amazon owe you a check bro i ain't even gonna lie they owe you money for real I'm All right. Loyal customers to the car world, yo. They don't know. So you still got the stock box on? Yep. I, I got, see. I got something special for that one. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that off camera. Off we ain't gonna spoil it though. Yeah. We ain't gonna spoil it. So we still got the stock box. Yep. Everything in here looked the same thing. So remember, um, and when we opened the hood on mine. Yeah, you got to remember cover. the brake line was a cover. There was a cover on the Hellcat. So that's really the only thing I see so that's, that's different. Right. You said in the uh, in the other video, but that's is like cover. Um, is. So it's just a, it was just a, it's a manufacturer cover, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I didn't put it there. It, was, it came just like that. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I don't know why they, I don't know what they yeah, make. I don't, I don't know, know why it's so it. different. Yeah, I don't know why they protect it on a Hellcat, but it's oh, a, it was a cover on a Hellcat. Same thing here. He has his fuse box. The coolant, same thing just like the Hellcat is on that side. The only thing he's missing, obviously, is the big supercharger that's on top. And then the extra coolant reservoir that was on this yep. side for the supercharger. So, remember, we was like, that's the main one for the motor. Which it was. Everything else, man, pretty much looks same like the much. same. You don't got the Hemi Orange valve covers, but you have the Hemi Orange block. Yep. It's some of my videos, as I usually point out, I always point down in there. It's down in there. Yeah, that Hemi Orange block is definitely there. Like how his is, is up here. Yep, it's only it's at the top. Yep. yep. That's that's crazy. Yeah, I guess they I guess, I guess they got to differentiate it somehow. Yeah, there we go. So we good now. So y'all gonna see a difference in quality just a little bit because my phone just ran out of storage space. But we got the GoPro popping. We gonna hop in the car. And we're going to just take a quick drive, man. I'm going to see the difference between this scatty. Up in the <laughs> Definitely with this weather, man. Can't have the chapped lips, man. <laughs> For real. Dry them off all that. All right, so let's hop in real quick. Yeah, you got the keys, you know? I got the keys, man. Big keys. Big keys. So, I mean, again, man, same thing with the Hellcat, same interior. Everything is really the same. Literally, you got the Alpine. Yep. So, I did a video between that with the Alpine. You remember that? How yeah, I was saying how I, I needed the Harman Kardon. Like, well, it's a big difference. The Alpine sounds great. Definitely sounds great. I loved it in my Chrysler 200. I ain't gonna lie, the Alcantara <laughs> feel good though. Right, way better. Right? I like the Alcantara. I wish I, just, I wish I could have just got it with like a color. Yeah. Do do they do, do they um do they let you get the red? No. Nah, you still get probably, the red? I, I probably could have still got it when I probably picked up the car. It probably would have been a little a few months or. My fault. I mean, I'm short. You're gonna have to oh, fix no your seat. I'm a little small. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you probably got to fix yours. Yeah, you get in there, you I'm like, oh, short, yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, you did the little red. Okay. Yeah, the so light, you did the, the red layover. button. I okay. got some more stuff coming, you know. Some Make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Make some sure more stuff coming for this and everything. I get a beat for the escort. Okay. Yep. Official. Yeah. This look. Dang, bro. I got to get me a radar, man. Yeah. Everybody was going crazy in my <laughs> comments about my radar, bro. Yo, when, I'm I like, oh, my God. I watched the video, right? Then I ain't looking at the comments. And I went on and called it to him. And I'm like, I look, I'm like, he ain't got his radar. Everybody's talking like, where's bro, your radar? Bro, every, so, everybody said, was coming at me about the radar. Did you just have one in your last video? I did, bro. <laughs> Oni paid, Oni paid 100 and, 
like 30 bucks for that radar and it was brand new. I bought it from some kid. He must just didn't know how much they were worth. Damn. So that Valentine V1 is a uh, $500 radar. So you hear it, y'all. Y'all hear it. You get it. You get Yo, it. I got a crazy. Oh. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It's jumpy. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I ain't, I ain't used to that. Right, because the Hellcat didn't even feel like yeah, that. Yeah, the Hellcat like, got It's like jumpy. subtle. It was like, it's okay. Oh, dang. This joint crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This feel, because I just noticed how jumpy it is, this feel a little bit more aggressive than the Hellcat. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't know. That's crazy because I drove a 15 mad long ago. Obviously, that's five years ago, but yep. it's been a while since I drove one. I don't know, maybe because it got something to do with the, the size of the, the engine. The size of the engine, probably. Because like I said, yeah, the motor, obviously, 6.2 or 6.4 is two different right. sizes. So this is way, yeah, this got way more jump to it. Big time. Literally got to lay my big toe on it, bro, just not to <laughs> spin out. I do notice the steering wheel, though. The steering wheel is a little smaller. Yeah, I was going to say because the steering wheel is smaller. I meant to say that in, there, in the other one. Yeah. I, I, yeah, the I steering wheel feel more beefier on yeah, yours. Yeah, a little thicker. The SRT steering wheel definitely a little thicker. Yeah, this one's a lot, lot thinner. I, I actually like this, though. I feel like I got more control with the steering wheel, though, because of the size. Oh, yo, yeah. this joint got yeah. a lot of... I like the way it responds, though. It's aggressive. Yup. Yeah, this this is crazy. I didn't know... Yeah, I'm see, I'm scared to, like, even just come out of a corner, bro, because I feel like I'm going to spin right out of the corner. You, you hear it coming from a Hellcat owner, too. Yeah, this is crazy. I always like messing with... Let me see. Yup. Um... Uh, I'm gonna just turn the paddle shifters on real quick. Cause yep. I always like messing with the paddle shifters. Yeah, you saw my setup. We got yeah. the paddle shifters off. Oh yeah, you could. It sounds different too. You did something to the exhaust? Nah, that's all straight factory. That's crazy. Maybe it's just been oh, it's so the active, active exhaust too. Open and. Oh exhaust. okay, okay. So is that is that based on the modes too? Just like the Hellcat. I think so. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it sounds it sounds way different. That's crazy. <laughs> you like you ever like you don't like paddle shifters though. You don't like playing with the paddles, do you? No, because I'm more racing and everything. So, bro, I, I, like I have that. I have so much fun with these joints, bro. I don't know why I like the paddle shifters so much. I like I like the machine does it work for me. <laughs> oh yeah, this joint get up, bro. Yo, it definitely real. move. You can I can feel the difference in power for sure though. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Let me see. And, and for me, right here, because I'm on the passenger side, and I've been trying to get the missus to drive a car like yeah. that. Yeah, I yeah, I, my girl haven't my girl haven't drove my car either. Says she don't want to. Yeah. So Says for too much. For me, sitting on the passenger side in my old car, someone else driving it. You know, and he's a, he's, a, he's a good driver. Yeah. He got he got something way crazier and nastier than I got. <laughs> it ain't that it ain't that much it, it of a difference, right. but it's something. Big it's that time. supercharger. That's all. But honestly though, this this gives me the same quality feel, right? Yep. Though as the Hellcat do, it just it feels just as comfortable. Yeah, just as comfortable. And the seats, I, I don't like know it. if it, I don't know if it's the Alcantara that make it feel a little bit more comfortable than the leather, but yep. they do. I don't I don't know I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's you know like you said, leather versus those. Yeah, it's like a different feel and texture and all that. I mean, the transmission shifts just just as quick too. Yeah, I like this transmission. Coming like I coming from a V6. The uh, other charger is a 2012, uh, 2017 one. That was no type of performance, transmission, none of that. Zero. Zero yeah, at all. I mean, I mean, it's the trend. Look at this. No, I know. Gun cut right in front of me. Literally, literally. Hey, people. That's what the dash cams are so good for. Yo, for <laughs> real. I'm telling you, that's why I got to get one. <laughs> yeah, I will tell y'all, right, right from the jump, like right getting in it. The the acceleration is way more aggressive than the Hellcat is way more aggressive. So the difference between daily driving this and the Hellcat is is definitely a big difference because the Hellcat is calm all the time. Yeah. The Hellcat until you is, step on it until you step on it. Oh, see, yeah. I'm about to burn out. Yo, this way is crazy, bro. <laughs> and it pulls. Yeah, Very it pulls. Do. It pulls for sure. Like that's why. I, that's why I said that day. That day you was next to me, and yeah. you, we both turned. We both like, cool, like floored it. Yep. You were still right there with me, <laughs> just until a little bit. I'm like, oh shoot! Like yeah, they literally got I'm the saying. same I'm like, power. I'm about to message him while we in the car, but I'm like, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna see him sometime soon. I'm gonna that, see him. I'm they see literally him. got the same amount of power from that. I'm, I, 
I want to say it to like 80 miles an hour, bro. Yeah, that's where, we, yeah. That's where the Hellcat. Because you literally, crazy. I can hear it coming like, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because yeah, we took bro. off that day, literally in the in the road out there, it was like, what? Yeah, we was out too. All you seen the cars, but uh, the cars on side of us that kept giving <laughs> thumbs up and all that. Yo. Yeah, nah, I like this, man. Yeah, yep. like. It's hard for me. To, it's hard for me to give y'all a hundred percent pin because I actually own a Hellcat. So obviously I'm gonna pick a Hellcat anyway. Yup. But I feel like anybody who feel like they don't need 700 horsepower. I mean, I don't need it. I'm gonna keep honest with you. I don't need 700 horsepower. But it's always better to have it and not need it than to than to need it and you don't got it, right? Right. So I enjoy what I got. That's why I got it. But honestly, I think this is more than enough. Honestly, especially for like. Get rid of beans real quick. Woo, yeah, it moved, bro. I quit. <laughs> I shifted early from third to fourth, but it, it definitely it, it moved. Goes. It goes. Yeah, it moved for sure. But it give you just as much spin as the Hellcat would. Yeah, yeah. Just as much. Like the Hellcat is going to spin quicker. Yeah. Right off the top. Just as much spin. But I, I this, it, this one will grip easier, though. Yeah. I know this. And we got about the same thread level on yep. tires. And I got 305s. These are two, two 45s. 45s. Yep. So big tire difference, but they still get the job done. I think I'm more impressed with how it sounds. It sounds completely yeah, different. Yeah, my, my little man, because he, he said in the back, he can hear you like, yo, Dad, you hear the, you hear the pops? The pops slap, crack the pop. Yeah, this sounds way different. Oh, listen to that. Like a true race car out there. Whew. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it ship it ship just as good as the uh, Hellcat does though. Yeah, the twin. I mean they just as quick. Yup. Oh yeah, this this it's a Dodge, man. I can't really say nothing. But it's a Dodge, no bro. Like no car, they say, right? It's a Dodge, bro. You're gonna get for what you you're gonna get what you pay for. Give honestly. it the killer bees love. That's what we get in the Hellcat love. Yeah, this is nice. And for bro. the other trip levels that they offer. This is nice, honestly, bro. Like it really. Other than flooring it, there's really no other difference, bro. It drives yeah, just yeah, like just a Hellcat. Smooth, calm, and collect. So you give it. The only difference as well is the exhaust. I'm, I'm really. It, that's blowing my mind because the exhaust is deeper to me. Yeah, it does sound. It's versus, a little deeper than the Hellcat, but it might be due to. I don't know if they put the same exhaust or it might just because of the motor. Might be. How you have the full displacement without the supercharger. And the, yep. and the pedal is super aggressive, bruh. Super aggressive. I feel like I'm going to spin out every time I try to take off. That's why I say I can't wait for winter because uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to see how this thing pulls. That's crazy. And, and it's crazy because everybody think the Hellcat is is uh, aggressive and scary to drive and it's right. not. It's actually the complete different. Uh, they're complete opposite. opposite. The scat kites <laughs> are more aggressive to drive than the, the Hellcats are. Because yep. this, bro, I'm barely touching the pedal and the car feel like it's going to spin out. See? And the Hellcat, I can easily give it a little bit of throttle and it won't feel like it's going to spin out. This, like, it just want to go immediately. The Hellcat is, isn't is like that. Nope. You have to actually give it. You have to floor the car. And actually yeah, you got to actually. Yeah. Just from, just from driving it for myself is like, all right, it's different. It's different. And that's the power. But you gotta like give it. You gotta give it the power. Yeah, yeah. It. like this. This is ready. It's ready. It's ready to go. It's ready to come at you, like. <laughs> Yo, that's and that's crazy. I didn't really think it was gonna be that much of a difference, man. But I mean, again, it's the same car. Yup. But the the experience is different for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that exhaust is so much. Yo, it's way deeper. Yeah, it is. You gonna do a muffler delete? Nah, I'm gonna keep it like this. Man, this is crazy. Because if I do something, I'm going to probably put the cherry bombs on there. Okay, okay. I'm going to see if these turn just is, just like the... Bro, yeah, this is honestly... Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, these are so similar to a Hellcat, bro. It's crazy. Right. Yo, I'm, I'm not going like to lie, bro. For... Big brother and little brother. You know? Yeah. Like, we're, they're not too far from each other. Just a couple months old. Yep. Yeah, because you got yours literally. I got mine in, I got mine in July. Was it June or July? Summer. I got mine in June, I got mine June 14th. Nope, nope, July 14th. I'm sorry. Yeah, because you, like you came to the dealership when I was, because at the time I was in there for, I think I did oil change or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. And that's before I was having those issues. That was before. Yep. So that's when, when I brought my car, that was my, that was my, 
that was me attempting to make an appointment for my first oil change. Oh, that's man. when you see me. Okay. I, so that I, I had just had it for a month and some change at that time. I like that little future they got on there. They should put it on all the cars. Which one? The backup. The backup thing. mirror. Yep. Yeah, this was. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. Uh, for the for the difference in money, I probably I probably would take a <laughs> scat pack, bro. I mean, if you could really. If you feel like you really couldn't, don't need a 700 horsepower, yep. I would take a scat pack, bro, because this, this is just as comfortable, drives yep. the same as a Hellcat does, and honestly, it has everything a Hellcat does other than the small touches, like the carbon fiber, uh, carbon, yep. carbon fiber pieces here on the, right here too. I mean, you got the cloth headliner. I mean, it really, it's really not that much of a difference, bro. And it's Alpine, crazy to do what? That was an option to get the sunroof, right? It was an option to get the sunroof. So yep. See. Yep. Sunroof was twelve hundred. Harman Kardon was twelve hundred. The uh, carbon fiber piece was twelve hundred. Every literally oh, all, all the options were twelve hundred dollars, bro. Oh. The cheapest one was a Harman Kardon. Oh nope, not a Harman Kardon, but the cheapest one was the brakes, the brake calipers, which was five hundred and ninety-five dollars, which I should have did orange. Nah, bro. This is. <laughs> this is literally yeah, I still the get same the, car, the one man. For the, the sky pack for the for oh the, the things belt. the yep. seabelt joints, yeah. Just like I, I had the other one that said Mopar, I'm gonna get. The, I tried to get the Mopar ones again, but they discontinued them. Yeah, I didn't see them either online. Nope, nope. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is literally the same car, man. Same. Oh, excuse me. Same yep. car. Same car, bro. So, a lot of people think that the Hellcats are aggressive and scary to drive. Actually, this is worse <laughs> to me. Obviously, those are faster top end, but these are worse because the way they take off from a stop yep. is way more aggressive than a Hellcat is. Like you said, you, you noticed it from how yours is. Yeah. It's more snappier yep. coming off the grip. Yeah, I do notice that, bro. Man, I'm not going to... Yo, I, that's crazy. That's crazy. Now, y'all actually know, like, honestly, Hellcats are not aggressive at all. This was more aggressive to me. You hear from me, y'all. Yeah. More aggressive because the... The way the pedal responds, it just, it's just, it's, it's super jerky. Like it wants to just take off. The Hellcat, and I like that. For the Hellcat to take off, you actually have to give it throttle. Like you have to full throttle the car for it to take off. It, Cause the, uh, the Scat Pack, it's ready to go off the jump. It's, yeah, it, was, it feel like most of the power is like literally the on the low end. Yeah, on, on the Scat Pack. That's oh. what I'm noticing. On the low end, the power is it's right there. You, you, you yeah, the Hellcat, I mean the Hellcat fast and all, it got power. But it's not, it's, you, gotta you gotta, yeah, you gotta put your foot into it for it to be fast. That's crazy, all right. Yep. Nib, nah, I appreciate it though, man. Oh, appreciate yeah, it for you coming out, man. That was, that was a good experience, bro. Yeah. And the corner in it, I took, I took that, I took yeah, that corner. Yeah, sorry, yep. That corner was smooth, just as if this was too. You don't notice, I will say, I do notice how much bigger the Hellcat yeah. feels. Yeah, feels. The Hellcat feels bigger, yeah, I don't know why. Cool. Seemed like it felt more heavier. Yeah, it does feel so heavier. Because, you know, even though it's not a Hellcat, it's still with the same body. Yep. Minus the wide minus body. Minus the wide body. The wider tires. Yeah. You feel more planted to the ground to that versus this. Versus this one, yeah. yeah I will I will say I will say that yep. too. Yeah, that's weird. That's so crazy. Two of the same platforms <laughs> could be such a big different di a big difference, right? Engine. That's it. That's Eight crazy, months. man. Yeah, I felt the Hellcats do feel more planted to the ground than, than the Scat Packs do. But at the same time, these feel lighter. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. they are lighter, obviously, but I it feels a lot went, lighter, though. I still kind of went with, the, with yeah. this kind of model here versus the white body, because I did saw the white body at the other spot. They had one, but I was like, nah, I like to do the racing. You like to do the that. racing and all that. And if the white body is going to be a little more heavier, uh -huh. I need something lighter. So. That's where I went for, so. Yeah, that joint was fun, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, overall. Yeah, was fun for someone else driving my car hard. And, That's a fact. Oh, it, it was fun, it was bro. Love that it needed. I'm going to give you a 100% honest for opinion, real. right? So, if you're debating between a Hellcat and a Scat Pack, if you, if you could afford the Hellcat, grab a Hellcat, right? But if you're in the middle between, if you don't want to spend that much money, and you don't think you need a Hellcat, I would definitely grab a Scat Pack, bro. It's not too much of a difference. Um, I did notice the power was more on the uh, low end than the, he and the high end on the Hellcat. It's more aggressive from a start, from a start, because I mean, oh. every corner I took, I pretty much almost spent out, and I didn't really, wasn't even trying to. So, right. I would probably take that. Uh, uh, I, would, I would take a Scat Pack for sure. Just as comfortable. Yeah. Um, it feels just as smooth of a ride. Yep. There's really not much difference, man, other than just 
that motor and a few little looks on badges and stuff so that's pretty much it for it that's really it man that's really all i gotta tell y'all it was it was the steering wheel yeah. i like the steering wheel a little bit better it's not it wasn't yeah, as thick like, as the hell cat i noticed it when i was driving I'm yeah. like, and everything still and comes then, you know, and yours are still and, stuff, you know, and, like, and yours are still heated right yep still, still heated. heated steering wheel so i mean you can still get all the same features same the same features. quality with the with a scat pack and a hellcat so it's just it's just that motor man yep. and motor and that supercharger that's it that's it everything else is literally the same obviously you get the two extra little uh scoops in the hood yeah but that's it literally the same car bro the same car it's weird they're the same car same but they feel time. so different too Way different that's crazy but hopefully y'all like that video man we're gonna end the video right now make sure y'all yeah. check his youtube channel out yeah. charger 17 3.0 Got Make it. sure y'all check his channel out, man. This is his beautiful scat pack, Lola. Can't forget it. I'll never forget that name after <laughs> after you hit me on Instagram. And I was like, who the hell is Lola? I will never forget who Lola is. Now, every time I see, every time I think of Lola, I remember about the car. I will never forget it. Out. Talks to everybody in the streets. <laughs> yeah. And then, obviously, make sure y'all check my channel out, too. He drove the Hellcat. Um, You're probably not going to see his video on mine, but you'll see him driving the Hellcat on his channel, which is Charger 17 3.0. I'm going to keep telling y'all until y'all go over there and subscribe. So check the channel out. Obviously, y'all already know Mopar, man, man. If y'all watching the video, y'all already on the channel, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, like. And that's pretty much it, man. I just drove the Scat Pack. Loved it. To me, to me, the same car, but very different, which is which is kind of weird. Um, obviously, there's a few subtle uh, components and stuff like the motor, springs, all that good stuff that make it support that heavier car, but... Honestly, man, same car, bro. Same car. And if if I would do it all over, I probably still would get a Hellcat because that was just a dream. But if I'm one of them people where I'm trying to come over from a different market into the muscle world, 100% grab a Scat Pack, man, because it's the power for the money. 100% worth it. And honestly, there's not a drastic difference, man. Not enough. Uh, not enough for probably 30 grand i hate to say that because i i hate to say that because i got a hell cap but, but if you could slap that same supercharger on the scat pack i probably would do that honestly or a, even a better uh supercharger because the uh ihi uh supercharger isn't really the best supercharger out there you got magnuson you got a couple other brands those supercharger on that you'll probably whoop a hell cap bro easily you probably walk one honestly put some put a bus on it maybe but that's all I got for y'all, man. Hopefully y'all like those videos. Make sure y'all check both videos out. And we're going to see you on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.